replace you. People of God, each and every one of us, we all have replacement. You have replacement in your family. Like maybe God has raised you to be the one to help in your family. And it's as if you're becoming a God to them. You have replacement. As a pastor, you have replacement. As a Sunday school teacher, you have replacement. No matter who you are, you have replacement. And that is why you must be very careful of the assignment that God has given to you. And you will do it to the letter because there are things that are waiting to pull you to take your place. There are, as a matter of fact, even God himself has replacement for everybody. So many years ago, I came to Buffalo. I did not come to Buffalo to become the pastor of this church. But in his own plan and infinite mercy, he said, you will be the pastor. Do you know even the future has been planned? That even when God sends you on an errand, and you say, oh, I don't want to do. God has people. God has people that he's going to raise and he's going to glorify himself. I'm saying to you again, anything that God has committed into your eye, hold it tight that no one will take your crown. Some people's crown will be taken from them because they are careless and they think they can never be replaced. No one is indispensable in the kingdom or in the race of life. Every one of us we do have replacement. Even in family, people have replacement. And the more is in, you must do your home part. Elias just said, I am the holy one. God said, no, 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 no. You, we have 7,000 more. Since you've decided to write your death wish, uh, I'm going to replace you. I'm going to replace you with somebody. In a time of burnout, pray and don't wish that you were dead. Because God still has need of you. There was a king in the scripture that God loved so much. But because he wanted to be a people's pleaser, he lost his place. How many of us remember that king? So, and scripture speaking, Acts of Apostle chapter 13 and 22, I want us to read this. Act, look at it. And look at what the scripture says. When he had removed Saul, who is the he? God, you see? So, we can say, when God had removed Saul, he, he raised unto them who David to be their king to whom he also gave the testimony and said I have found David the son of Jesse a man after my own heart who, which shall fulfill my will do you know that even as a pastor if you are not careful you will do your own will and not God's will why did God change so? He was doing his own will and not God's will. And God said the qualification for David replacing Saul was that David will do what? God's will. Do you know that that prayer, Lord, let your will be done, is not a small prayer. In everything you do in life, even career path, Lord, let your will be done. In my business life, let your will be done. That doesn't mean that you will not be a part of it. It means that when you come to a place that God is saying, let this one go and let this one be the one that you will do, that you will easily yield. Let your will be done does not mean that God is going to be the one to think for you. God is going to think through you because we are creature of wills so god has given us that will to do what he wants us to do but i wanted to mark something in this place before saul began to do his own will something happened to him the devil introduced a spirit the enemy introduced a spirit into him after and that spirit led him into doing things that made him to be against the will of God and that spirit possessed him and every child of God is possessed and possessed with the Holy Ghost so if you give room and inch for the devil the enemy will introduce something that is not the Holy Ghost and that thing comes as a result of disobedience disobedience the Bible says the sin of disobedience is like the sin of what I wanted to say it again is it convenient to say that anyone that continues to disobey God is a witch 
that's what the scripture says so it's that is what the bible says if you see somebody that consistently disobey god you're a witch you need deliverance but this is what where i'm going i want you to pay attention to this because it is very key it's very key because we all carry spirit <laughs> 